hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel we'll be making this bag today but before we proceed we have to sketch it out which is this don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't also forget to press the notification button thank you very much so for the measurement of the hand we have 24 by 2.5 for the side four and a half then for the bottom we have seven and a half point one for the flap we have five for the upper base that is the one before the flap is one and a half then for the back is five and for the breadth of the bag is seven and a half so this is the rope and the leather used for the handle of the bag then we have the cardboard that has a measurement of the bag that is the material that we're going to use for the bag to make the bag stand so um, this is carry board on the carry board we have five um, the measurements for the uh, for the body is five the measurements for the flap is five why the measurements for the upper base is five is one and a half so that is the leather which we're going to use to make the bag so now we're about to wrap our bag by using gum, carry board, and the material itself. So, this is a this is a um, synthetic material. It's animal skin material, crocodile material leather, which we'll be using for the bag. So, um, the carry board carries um, the other parts is. 5 inches then the middle part is which is the upper base is one and a half inches why the other parts which is going to be the back side is five inches so now we are cutting uh, we are cutting out the material so we're going to wrap the leather we're going to wrap it with the carry board but before that we have to leave some inches which is a half inches at the right half inches at the other right and you know all over it so we're going to wrap those inches inside the on top of the carry board so this is the leather this is the that's the front the body itself which uh, the ones that carry the one that carried the flap the um, upper base and the back you know that is the body the lining so this is the gusset the gusset has a um, chipboard marco you know gum to the leather then you have to put the lining on top of it to sew together so this is um this is the undo which we are going to sew so on the bag so the handle will be sold on the flap of the bag. You know, it's going to come with only one handle. The bag is coming with one handle. Now we are about to sew the front of the bag. And the, the front cover of the bag. We are sewing it. So we are still sewing. When you're sewing your your bag, you have to be careful. You have to be careful with the machine, you know, so that you don't make any mistakes. Just have to be careful. So right now we are sewing the undo. That is the undo of the bag. You know it comes with uh, you have to wrap the pipe inside the inside the material you need to be careful while while um, sewing it so that you don't make any mistakes so while sewing you have to always back stitch and you know 
make sure that you stitch it well so that it, the the bag doesn't get loose So now we're about to we're about to attach the handle to the back yeah, to the front to the flap of the bag that is our handle so now we are stitching it on it we have we are stitching the handle on the flap so you need to be careful you know this uh, the flap um the handle actually didn't measure it but when you're sewing it you have to make sure that the both sides are equal you have to be sure that it's equal try to make sure that your stitches are neat So now we are done with um, the bag stitches. So now this is the gusset. The gusset comes with the bum bum. That's the the right gusset, the bum bum, and the left gusset. So now we are stitching the gusset. We are we are stitching the lining and the leather together. That's so that we can cut out the allowance that is the the part that we actually don't need there we have to stitch it and cut those parts away and don't forget the measurement of the gusset is the measurement of the gusset is uh we're making use of two and a half for the breadth that's for the width is two and a half but you have to put one inches so when you put one inches it is three and a half those inches are the ones that we are going to fold inside the bag but the ones that is going to be outside is two and a half inches so we back stitch So this is the inside of the bag. The inside of the bag carries the um, the lining and the gusset with the bum bum. So now we've that is the inside of the bag. This is the outside, which carries the handle of the bag. So now we are going to gum them together. This is the body. This is the gusset. That's the other body. This is the flap the upper base and the bo and the back thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to press the um, notification button thank you very much bye